Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back on GC Sport and finally we have got the T500 working. It's working perfectly, no differences from before the update. Um, I don't know if it, um, I heard some people talking about the uh, patch calls issues before feedback, but my fourth feedback felt perfectly fine, no issues with it at all. And the first race I wanted to do was, um, today's race is the B race. I'm not really interested in the um, C race as the car that you to use is not really my favorite type of car um, if it would have been the Porsche 919 hybrid I would have definitely driven it but this race is in the Porsche GT3 it's a quick four laps sprint race on screen at the moment is our qualifying lap driving the new Lexus um, RF GT3 race car the 2017 model I wanted to try out I've never driven the car so I wanted to get in this car and give it a go it's not the fastest car for this track and we did manage to get ourselves in the top 10 stars but that is going to get absolutely wiped when everyone's now using the faster car and um, you're going to see it in the race it was just by the time I got to do some races, um, everyone was starting to get onto it. I was pretty much one of the only ones in the top like five or six that was using this car. And um, I will go back probably later tonight and try and get some races done with the faster car and hopefully when all the faster people are on and um, get some real fun races. But um, the lap, this lap that we're on the screen at the moment is a reasonably good lap. We might use this lap for a um, track guide at some point because it's quite a nice car here. It just it lacks the corner in speed compared to some of the other GT3 cars. But overall, I was happy with the lap as you can see there, one minute. Um, 32.6 so we put ourselves in the top 10 stars there anyway getting on to the race you can see now um, it's the race B event four lap sprint race we're starting on P3 and um, obviously a lot of people started to get onto the fact that that car is a lot faster the um, it's the F is it the F F1 or whatever it is the F1 FT1 VGT sorry um, we're starting P3 so the aim here is just to try and hold our position really in this race we don't want to lose any positions um, we had a couple of races but there seems to still be an issue with something with the penalty system I'm going to show you it happens in this race but the, it rolls reverse thankfully um, in a previous race we were right behind the leader um, going into a corner and we tapped him I, I mean it, it literally must have like grazed the back of his car and I got a 10 second penalty for it um, hopefully that issue isn't something that's going to stay in the game um, forever but at the moment it's still there as you can see they're going into turn one in the slipstream we're right behind um, p2 he swapped cars and um, he was driving the mercedes and we were a lot faster than him when he was in the mercedes um, but he swapped to that car and i knew that i needed to get past him really to try and get anywhere if i could get into the guy's slipstream up ahead we could maybe stick with him but without the slipstream we had no chance of um, keeping that car it was just able to carry so much speed through the corners and on corner exits i just couldn't keep up with in this car and um, not not for my first go on the car anyway but i really do like this gt3 it's another gt3 car that i'm so glad that i'm trying out for for the first time it feels really nice um, i'm really starting to enjoy driving different cars in this game and it's, I, I quite want to do some races with different cars i don't always want to be driving the fastest car in the race it's good to be some in a different car that not everyone else is going to drive because it's not the fastest so you can see there we're looking to try and make a move early so <clears throat> we're lining ourselves up here trying to get as close to the guy in second place as possible so we need to get into his slipstream you can see there you got a little bit of a twitchy rear end on the exit there <clears throat> so we're right up right behind his gearbox now and then um, trying to stay in his slipstream um, the only way I was gonna get past him was on this long straight after this final corner so you can see what I do here now going into this corner we're gonna stay out wide watch the line I normally go really tight for that corner so I let my car go wide and then let it come into the inside and get a better exit speed you can see there because I know that this car in front once I've got slipstream I might it's the only chance I'm gonna have to get past this car so we're going in slipstream he's gonna go defensive we're in the slipstream building building build. I'm gonna make the move throwing it down the left hand side we're pretty much side by side going into this corner he's slightly ahead there but I'm not gonna give up on that position we fight our way through the corner accelerating out the corner you can see I give him plenty of space he runs a little bit wide I'm not sure at this point where he is on the track so I give him plenty of space on that right hand side but I actually could have took the line properly and that really compromises my exit into that corner and the entry into that corner and we just about make that move count so luckily we did that move quite nice let's just have a little look at that move riding on board with the guy who was in second position so you can see where we made the move you're going to see my car this is what you really need to do if you want to make a move on this straight is get a nice wide entry from this corner look how much wider i go into that corner i go wide and then cut back and you can see there it gives me i might lose out on that corner and on the initial part of the um, straight but what it ha what it will give me is a massive slipstream all the way into this corner and, that, and i knew that so you can see look at the speed i'm getting down the straight i pull out to make the move we're going to go down that inside 
just about get on the inside. He fights this really well and fair. You can see I give I give him plenty of space. I didn't like run him out of road. He just runs a little bit wider if he see it. Gets on the curb. And then you're going to see here now how much space I gave him into that corner. Look, I, I thought he was still there. I didn't expect him to be behind me at that point. And it really made a compromised entry and exit into that corner. But we got away with that and a nice overtake. And I was happy with that. Um, I love to be back on GT Sport. It really is such a nice feeling to be back racing um, with equal people and um, I'm really enjoying it I can't wait to get more videos back in the FIA races they're going to be coming soon obviously we need to get them FIA races sorted as you can see now he's right behind me going into this corner and I didn't feel anything here you can see in the mirror I didn't feel anything oh I don't know what happened there but it looks like something similar that happened to me uh, maybe a bit of desync on, on the um, server and it might have registered his car it hit me it looked like he got a slow down so he's backed off and try to let people by. He's actually um, around the second behind. There's now 1.3, 1.2 1 seconds behind. Um, he seems to be struggling though with that rear of that car. It looks like a tricky car to handle, but I reckon once you got used to it, that car is going to be so much faster. And unfortunately for us, you can see <coughs> we're not. We wasn't really close enough to getting the guy up ahead slipstream. He was absolutely flying on this track. I think he was actually top of the. Um, I have a feeling the guy ahead of me is either top of the um, top 10 stars or he's second or something like that. He's very high up there. So he is obviously in the rhythm with this with that car, and I really am gonna get. I, I want to get back on later tonight to try that car out because you can see we're about 2.5 point, 2 seconds behind or something like that already. So it's just about trying to just hold on to his second place. And luckily for us, it looks like the guy behind. So look how wide he's going for a corner in the mirror there, going really wide. He's having a little bit of a battle with another guy driving the RCF um, Lexus like my, my, like myself. And um, so there was another guy in the race driving that, and you can see. Our fastest lap, obviously, lap two was not very good because we did that overtake in that lap and compromised in entry and exit. Um, in a previous race, we managed to just creep into the 32s in the race, but I think we had a slight slipstream down the straight on one of them laps, and then uh, we didn't get it anywhere else, but it does make a difference on the start straight, the slipstream here. So going into this corner, I really like this car for this corner. It's able to brake really late and ride the curb really well, but it's just it doesn't seem to be able to hold enough speed because obviously it's quite a big GT3 car. So it doesn't seem to be able to hold the speed of that um, FT1, whatever it is, VGT thing, whatever. I don't even know what make it is. I, I need to buy that. I haven't even got that GT3 yet, so I'll be buying that later on tonight. I just wanted to give you guys a video just to you know, show that T500 is working. We're back on the game, and we can start uploading these race videos that a lot of people have been watching, and I'm, I really have missed doing it. And I cannot wait to get back into the FIA. Unfortunately, the FIA races are not on today. It's Wednesday. So we'll be back on tomorrow with an FIA race. I don't know what manu manufacturer I'm going to go yet. Um, I'm not decided. I don't know anything about the fuel consumption. So I'm just going to go. Um, I'm probably going to go one that I know for the FIA races and that I can trust. It may be Corvette. Um, I'll, I'll have to have a, a, a little talk with some, some people that know more about it at the moment than I do. To pick a car that's going to be reasonably competitive. Um, I, I'm not too worried if it's not the fastest car. But I, just, I don't want to be a car that's going to be lagging behind a bit. As you can see there, lap 3. Lap 3 is much better, 133.1, um, you can see back into the rhythm of the track, Not wasn't a perfect lap but it was getting there, um, for this car it was reasonably good because this car was struggling um, compared to that car up ahead, you can see he managed to pull out about 6 tenths on us, on, or 5 tenths, 6 tenths on one lap, um, he really was in the zone with that car and um, pushing it to its limits basically, um, I think if we had that car we could probably hold on to his slipstream, um, if we started behind him, but I'm gonna have to go back on and requalify in that car, and um, it'd be a good. It'd be quite interesting to do a comparison lap because my qualifying lap was fairly good in this car. So what I might do is do another lap in that if I get time, and then do some racing and do a little comparison between the two cars and just show you the difference of where the, the cars make and lose time. I, I'm pretty much 100% sure that this car will lose a lot of its time in the fast corners and any sort of corners. It just it doesn't feel as light and as nimble when you're watching their car up ahead it was really light and nimble looking it looked like it could change direction so much easier than my car but again another new a new mgt3 car that's been added obviously it's very similar to the 2016 model there's not much difference between these cars but i've never tried the, the other version so this was a real nice experience driving another gt3 car and uh, it, it really does help driving other GT3 cars, I think. It just gets you to use the different um, handling characteristics within the game. So we take P2, happy with that in this car. You can see everyone else pretty much second and third. We're driving them cars, everyone else pretty much in the F1 VGT. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be back with more GT Sport, Assetto Course, and Project Cars videos soon. And we'll be back with the FIA races tomorrow and night, hopefully, to be uploaded on Friday. Thanks again for watching, everyone.